aboard Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. This is day number five, which is the final day of the sailing. And it's Bimini Day, so it's a big day. Big day, big Bimini day. There was a couple bees there. I thought there'd be more, but there weren't, so let's get it started instead. <laughs> day number five, final day on board Scarlet Lady here at Bimini. Let's go. Sea turtle. You're Look beautiful. At it go. I oh, love you. we just got it. It's heading to the depths. Holy smokes, the color of this water. It is gorgeous. Sweeping views of Bimini delight. Of course, we're not just here for Bimini. Beach Club at Bimini. Right. Virgin Voyages private destination. Right, because the Bimini isn't like a virgin owned island. Like Bimini is like a public island, but the beach club at Bimini is private just to virgin passengers. Exactly. And actually I've already been down. Oh, right. To, I filmed the whole tour. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check out our playlist. But I haven't been down there yet. So I think we need to get it going. Let's do it. We're going to head down and grab a tram. Scan the band to get off the ship. Now we find ourselves on the pier. So you just walk to the inn and you find the tram station. Now the trams are included. There's no additional cost for them. And you take them to the beach club. Don't remember exactly how long of a ride. I would say like five minutes to 10 minutes. It's not very long at all, but it's a nice ride. You get to see some of the island. I find it very reminiscent of Key West. But we'll see what all of you think shortly. And here is the aforementioned tram station. So you got the little hut there. The stanchions are up. Just go and queue up. Wait for the tram to pull into the circle. And the waiting area for the tram is partially shaded. However, as you can see, it only does so much here in the sun over there in the shade, I guess, just depending on the time of the day. If you're mid to end of the line, you're going to be feeling great. If you're at the front of the line, <laughs> well, it might be a little hot, but at least you don't have to wait too long because you're at the front of the line. That's true. Well, this is fun. When I went to the resort earlier, it was by tram. Uh -huh. Like similar to how you find it, like a theme park parking lot, like a Disney or something like that. Okay. A long, long tram. Oh. Now we're on a golf cart. Oh yeah, like we're in like a six person golf cart. Yeah. Maybe maybe they do that for like later in the day when that, cause it's like, like afternoon now. So like probably most people are already over there. Here we go. location and that was the wrong decision it's it, not open they, they don't have it open and they said that the south side the full meal is gonna be open till 3 and it's 240 so we got a supersonic over there <laughs> let's do it they now he did say they will have snacks after that but if you want the main course food till 3 so supersonic <laughs> so as we make our way over to the eat that are open First impression, it is definitely very busy and it's definitely a party. So if you're looking for serenity, not really so much. But if you're looking for a party, you've come to the right place. At least in the afternoon. You said it wasn't busy when you came this morning no, for the it, tour. No, it was not. And they didn't have the music playing with the DJ. It was quiet. Okay, so if you want serene, come in the morning. If you want the party, come in the afternoon. And if you don't want to miss the eats, come before three. <laughs> All right, we've arrived at Beach Eats. Let's take a look at the menu. Very 
limited. Well, here's what we have so far. So Chell's got a fruit salad. This is the snapper. I mean, that's really small. And then a small bowl of, that's the pork. Um, they said they would have corn. It just wasn't ready. So they're still working on that. And they were out of chicken, like completely sold out. And people were getting very angry and upset about that. And there's a lot of displeasure around the food here at the beach club. It's a limited offering, as you saw on the menu board, not many choices to have. And then they're out of stuff. So yeah, not making the best impression for a lot of folks, but we're gonna make do with what we can. Ah, and now the corn on the cob is available. There's some toasties on there, it looks like coconut or something. And they just switched over to the snacks menu. Yeah, let me go take you, let me show you what the snack menu is. So here is the snack menu, or light fair menu as it's so labeled. Yeah. Just a few options here. Tropical fruit salad, which is the same as the one prior. But I guess coming at 2.40 actually ended up being a good time because we got the regular menu that we ate at. And then right at three o'clock when this station closed the regular menu, the snack menu opened up. So it actually worked out, we got to try both. Sorry. We dug into the ribs and the hummus before filming it. So whoopsie, our bad. But here's the hummus and here's the ribs. And I think my general assessment of the food here at Bimini is that it has really good flavor. The portions are small, so you'll definitely have to get like multiple plates. Like one, one thing of pork is not gonna cut it. You're gonna need like multiple. And hence why I think maybe they were running out of things for the, for the main lunch. I think we came at the best possible time because we got the lunch items and we got the snack items. And all of those things together made for like kind of like a full lunch in my opinion. Like tapas style. Yeah. Well, funnily enough, I thought the best item was the ribs, which are on the snack menu. I know, and they like, I mean, we ate some of them, so sorry, they're not getting a great frame of reference, but like they were like two decently meaty ribs and the hummus is very good. And yeah, I, I agree. I think the snack item, those two items were my favorite. And then I, I really like the pork, the pork, was from the lunch menu was super flavorful and delicious. I do think if you're a picky eater, this um, the eating might be a little challenging. I'd eat on here. board before you come. I agree. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I really, really, really wanna go in the ocean. Let's do it. We're walking down the straw carpet to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> At the mystical orb of magic. What is that going to be used for later? Fire! It's really cool. So this is, they have a couple of these orbs like down the beach and they're gonna light them up at night and have like a, like a cool bonfire thing. Oh yeah. And that's another thing to mention is that when you stop here at Bimini and come to the beach club, like you're here until like 9.30 at night. Yeah, and you get here early too. Yeah, it's like, like at least 12 hours. That's like pretty unique that you not only get 12 hours, but part of that time is at night where you can have a bonfire. So we are going to go back to the ship for now, but fret not, we will be back to the beach club at night. <laughs> We got a proper tram this time. We did. It's like the trams at Disney. Please keep all hands, feet, legs, and arms inside the tram while in motion. Beep, beep. Watch your kids, but there's none here because it's adults only. That 
Okay. Beep beep. <laughs> Bimini at, at night. night under the glow of the full moon. I don't know if it's really a full moon, but it's pretty close. I know one thing. What? I'm hungry like the wolf. I woo! Also, we've been wanting to show this, the triple net, as you can see here, which is, as the name indicates, a triple layer net that you can walk out on or lay on and it's right above the next deck down here, but then here, it's right above the deck like 10 decks down, and then here, right above the water, or in this case, a little bit of the pier. But I don't know why, it's closed right now. Yeah, it's been open like every day, and we keep forgetting to show it, and it's roped off all around now. If you wanna see kind of what it looks like, Ah, this net is surprisingly comfortable. Oh, I could take a nap here if we didn't have to go to Bimini, but we do, so let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look at that line to get back on the ship. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's about like 7.45 right now. All aboard is 9.30. So just so you know, that's what it looks like to get back on the ship at about 7.45. Yikers. Hopefully, uh, looks a little, little uh, shorter when we get back. All right, time to see Beach Club at Bimini's Ninus Static. So right when we come into the main house, here we do see the wicker suspended lights up above. Very lovely, as well as the string lights going throughout the shade canopies. Oh my gosh, the pool's red! Ooh! Whoa! So yeah, it's cool because they have the red perimeter, but then the lights underneath are blue. So you get like a purple kind of shade going. Oh my gosh, the fire pits look awesome. It's kind of hard to tell what's on them during the day, but oh. at night the picture becomes much clearer. This mermaid's on fire! <laughs> I have two random observations. One? Boy, this party really died. <laughs> I mean, I know we weren't here like right when it got dark, but we came right after it got dark and there's like no one here. Everyone went back to the ship, hence the long line. It kind of seems like people waited for the bonfire to light at 7.30 and then everyone left after that. They skedaddled. Yeah, but I have to say, I like, I like chill Bemini in the evening. Yeah, me too, I like it way better. What's observation number two? I think it's hilarious how Virgin tried to justify the size of the pools on the Scarlet Lady uh -huh. by saying they didn't need big pools and then they built like ginormous <laughs> lagoon pools here at the beach club. So what's that about? We're going to the beach where you can actually swim in the ocean. Like, let's build a gigantic pool. <laughs> on the ship though, you, why would you ever need to swim? Say bye bye, Bimini. And now, no line to get back on board. Been cleared for access. So I, I very much recommend getting back on the ship at 8:40 versus 7:45. One hour later makes all the difference. Deck seven. Let's head back inside the Red Room. It's showtime once again. I think it's the Untitled Dance Show Sing. That's what they call it. That's the name. Whoa. Hello. What on earth? There's no seat. See? We weren't kidding. That's really what it's called. As we discover human expressions usually suppressed by conditions of the so called real world. Yeah. <laughs> 
back in the room before our next fun activity. That's right. Night isn't over. There's something really cool coming up. Yes. Oh, but the 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 show is really fun. It it is out there. Like it is appropriately named. It is random. It should be untitled. It's a party dance show kind of thing. They gave me presents from the piñata that dropped. The yeah. heart piñata. The next activity takes place in the groupie. Ooh, what could this possibly be? Let's head inside the blue room. That's the color I would have picked. <laughs> Ooh. What are we doing in the blue room? We are going to do karaoke. But that's the cool thing about the groupie on board is that we're in the blue room. The door is closed. We're the only ones in here. So that's what the groupie is. It's private karaoke rooms. Okay, so let me give you the skinny. On days that they are doing karaoke, they have an allotted time. So for today, it was like 9 p.m. to 1 a.m., right? You cannot reserve a time until like the karaoke time starts. So you can only start making reservations at 9 p.m. Now, a little birdie told me that like they, someone came like a few days ago at like 9 p.m. to sign up, but they were already all booked out. Like they said, you should have come 10 minutes earlier. So basically, if you really wanna make sure you get a time, like maybe come like a little bit more the before like the booking slot opens, just to make sure you're getting in line and you can reserve a spot, cause I guess some nights it gets really busy. But yeah, you just come, it's completely free. For, for now. now. When we were here for the preview event, they did tell us that they are considering making you purchase some kind of drink package in order to use the rooms. Yeah, they, they don't have that worked out yet. So it looks like you use this screen here to choose your song mm -hmm. of choice. Does it scroll? Oh, It yes. does scroll. There's a lot of stuff in here. And of course, we have the big screen up here, which I'm assuming is going to have the uh, the uh, lyrics up here and a couch to sit on. Be comfortable. Like it's legit on. Like the mics are on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should have known that they're not a prop. <laughs> If you see a faded sign at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the Love Shack! Love Shack, yeah, yeah. Why don't you come on over the valley? Find that hot like wasabi when I bust rhymes, but the end rhymes, because I'm all about value. Let's get the mad hits. You try to match wits, you try to hold me, but I bust through. Gonna make a break and take a figure like a stinging and get shaker like vanilla. It's the finest of the flavors. <laughs> and now we're not gonna do anything else for the rest of our hour because we just found out that the Hamilton soundtrack is in the machine. So that'll be the rest of our performance this evening. This is your king speaking. <laughs> but just you wait. What's your name? A-L-E-S-A-N-D-E-R, we are meant to be. Daddy beloved. <laughs> we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Life, 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 life. You can stop the beat! Nice. Man, that took a lot of energy. <laughs> 
recommend that. You have to, if you're gonna come on the Scarlet Lady, you, that should be a priority. I wish we would have done it earlier in the cruise because it was so much fun and I can't believe it was free. You could say it's curtain close on this sailing. <laughs> Guess that is going to do it for the sailing on board the Scarlet Lady. Five nights of fun come to an end. It was pretty different here. Yeah, it was, it was very different and interesting for sure. A different kind of experience than we've ever had on a cruise ship. Some things we absolutely loved and wish we could take with us and maybe some things we would change. I think it's going to be a cruise line for a lot of people. Is it ours necessarily? Probably not. I don't think we're the intended target audience for that, to be fair, and that's why we wanted to come on it. What I'm very happy that we can take away from this cruise is that some things like um, the big lively parties or things like that that aren't meant for our personalities, we still felt good here and we still had a good time. So I'm very happy that we can take that away from the sailing and I'm glad we had fun. Yes, yes, it was a blast. And if you're interested in coming on board and checking it out for yourself, we are first mates. Of course, that's what Virgin Voyages calls their travel advisors. So we partner directly with them to get you on board the Scarlet Lady herself mm -hmm. or the other ships that are coming very, very soon. So feel free to reach out via the travel agent information. It's in the description of the video. We hope you had fun. We know we did, but guess what? It's on to the next one. <laughs> so we're going to sign off for tonight and for the Scarlet Lady. We will see you next time. Happy, Happy travels. travels! And good, good night! night.